Seattle Space Needle. This is the Aeon Center. I like challenges, so I thought, let's build the CN Tower, why not? It's located in Chicago, Illinois. Seattle, Washington. I wanted to pick something that I knew for sure no one else would pick. You can have whatever variables they wanted again. We've been working a lot with ratios and proportions, so I had them take a building of their choice, take the actual dimensions and scale them down into something that they could build. You can do the pyramids, though. That was, that was like, too simple. Well, my design's kind of like, I have, like, a thick paper, which is black, kind of re representing the windows in between. It's six, about 605 feet tall. Scale had to be in the same system either customary or metric. It's kind of weird. I thought we'd kind of do it in like a stem or something because it's kind of a building. It does kind of cross curricular with art and kind of how to put things together. So spatial awareness, does it make sense if we build a scale model and it ends up being this big? So we talked a lot about what's an appropriate scale. Because it's kind of hard just always trying to get the right. I had to get, I had to divide so many numbers like that was too big or that was too small and I had to do that a lot. And just the creativity that they came up with I thought was was so neat to see what they decided to build for one thing. They came up with such great ideas that I've never seen before. This is roughly 1600 sugar cubes and there's a big donut up top because uh, the CN Tower, its observatory is actually called the Big White Donut. They've now had the experience of how that came about and what those numbers in a scale or on a map actually mean. You can like take it home. It's like your special project that you made and something to be proud of. I did enjoy building it. It was a lot of fun. It took me two weeks. That donut is over three weeks old. <laughs>